welcome to my workshop and welcome to episode six of building this CNC writer which any of you can build with ordinary shop tools nothing expensive this is totally being built by hand so in this video we're going to build the gantry and the X axis so it might be a little bit of a long one so I've already pre-cut the uprights for the gantry which we're going to mount on there and pretty heavy duty stuff actually it's more of the same of this it's uh, 160 uh, millimeters that is by 12 which is like half an inch and uh, about six and a quarter inches uh, and it's plenty sturdy enough to build you know this right away very sturdy actually now I'm going to use steel angle here to firmly attach this onto here and I may actually put uh, some five mil uh, bolts up through here up into the, the base of this don't know yet but um, yes yeah, steel angle here and then when it comes to the cross piece I have uh, you see it's just a little over three quarters of an inch it's about it's about five eighths actually of cast aluminium and it's been machined flat um, so that will be attached I'll screw into it but to back that up uh, I'm also going to use the same uh, angle and I have it here actually good steel angle iron okay straight <laughs> um, I'm going to use that to reinforce up here as well so there's very little flex uh, you know it's held very rigid uh, the only flexing area is between here and about here and that's not going to flex much at all so um, okay we'll uh, we'll get on with it so what I've decided to do with this video is I will video you know sort of the general idea of me cutting some of these to length and what have you it just gets a little boring so I'm going to fast forward it and uh, I'll just put a little bit of uh, general music up in the background you really don't want to hear me running the saw here um, and in between in regular intervals I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of a chat and tell you what I'm doing my drilling setup to pre-drill or pilot drill the holes for the linear guide rails you can feel between three and four thousandths of an inch you can actually feel it whether it's out of line between the the main body of the gantry that's what this is and the edge of this linear guide rail and that's all you need you need to be in within three or four thousandths of an inch which is point which is 
0.1 of a millimeter. You can feel it very easily. If you can't feel a step, you know that it is within that tolerance. That's all you need. And this is a very simple setup. I've got two blocks of wood running across both of the linear rails, one, one each end, and I've then I've got a, another fairly substantial beam running lengthways and it's clamped to my bench. So that's not going to move now. So now I can pilot these holes. You don't need any special equipment to make a CNC router. You can do it all with one of these. A cordless drill. I do use a small drill press um, because it just makes it easy for me because I have one. But you can do it with a cordless drill. So the, the holes are drilled in the linear rail, they are about a quarter of an inch, which is around about six millimeter. So I've got a six millimeter drill there, and I'm just going to put it into each hole and just put a, a mark, an indentation, in for about a millimeter or so. And then when I remove all this, I'm left with the, the drill marks, so then I can drill the drilling size to thread it, which in this case is five millimeters. So that's my next job. So these are the brackets that I've made to strengthen up and actually do the main fixing of the gantry to the side plates of the, the, the gantry. So I've used uh, steel in this case. Uh, so they're going to have uh, eight fixing points. So four are going onto the back of the, the gantry main structure. Uh, sort of like this, which I've now pre-marked, all I did was clamp this to the uh, this plate and just mark the holes through these drillings. So I'm going to tap a thread in these after I've drilled them so I can fix these plates on Alright, so, and this is a very simple mechanism, I've got a block of wood this end, and I've uh, put blocks of wood on here to build it up so that I know this is completely flat and level, um, and I know this is now 90 degrees, so I can drill a 90 degree straight hole straight through this material, and this is beautiful material too, this is cast aluminium. Um, I don't know whether it's widely available, but it's what I had on hand. Um, but you could also use, uh, if you wanted to, you know, sort of just ordinary plate aluminium. In this case, this is, uh, this is, I think, 15 to 16 millimeters. So I'll just check it. Yeah, 0.6 of an inch, all right? So that's uh, 15 and a half millimeters. Um, I have this flattened, all right, just skimmed, flat, because uh, you, know, you, you want your, your gantry main structure to be absolutely parallel as you can get it. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna drill this and tap the threads uh, tap threads in 
the um, drillings for the linear rails as well and um, start putting it together. sub-assembly now of the the gantry I uh, don't know whether I'm going to be able to totally finish the X axes in this video because I'm, I'm sort of trying to keep the videos down below 12 minutes each um, but I've got all my brackets now drilled and uh, in place uh, this is the this is the actual gantry it's starting to get a little heavy now that's the, the X axis cross member there. And uh, I've got my side plates here and the bracketry. So we'll put these on and start building this uh, gantry up. So I'll speed some of the footage up here.
Okay, so there it is. The gantry is structurally made. Uh, this is only a test fitting. Um, and I think it's as far as I'm going to go with this particular video. Um, otherwise, it's just going to go on and on and on. Because I, I know that the, the next phase, uh, which involves putting the X axis screw in here and the mounting plate for the Z axis, probably is all going to be done in. Uh, in you know the next video and one video entire video so um, yeah very strong very smooth running and uh, that, that gantry although it's fairly heavy now I mean the gantry structure is probably Oh, 30 kilos. So by the time I get the, the Z axis built up and get the, the, the spindle motor on here, that's going to add another 10 kilos, I think. Um, incidentally, it's 2.2 pounds to one kilo. So you just you know if I'm talking in kilos and you want to understand what it is in pounds just multiply it by 2.2 well I'm really happy with that everything fits and it's relatively square um, and I've just got a bit of fettling it's it maybe a you know sort of half a degree out here and there um, it just means you know, falling, and, falling a hole and getting a square on it and bringing it up so it is square. But uh, it's not far out. So, if you've liked this video, please press like and subscribe. And um, if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron. Patron information is below this video in the video description area. So, Thank you for watching. Oh, incidentally, at the end of this series, which I'm probably not going to be able to finish this until mid-January, something like that, um, all the plans and uh, the vendors that supplied parts and prices will be on my Patreon pages. So, thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now. So thank you for joining me and it's bye for now. Ooh, that's smooth. <laughs>